Hey guys, welcome back to the DWF. Thank you so much for watching. It's your host, Dan Dan WrestleFan here. And today, we are looking at a pretty good toy haul we got from the Treasure Toy Trove. I like to shout Jason out a lot up at the Treasure Toy Trove right now. All of his wrestling stuff, t-shirts, action figures, whether your figures are new or loose, uh, whatever. Um, uh, he's got uh, wrestling, like, little Hot Wheels cars. Picture anything that's re wrestling related at all is buy one get one 50% off for the entire month of November um, So please guys be sure to go check them out. Sorry that I didn't uh, Announce this sooner. I just got my my toy haul this weekend. So or I guess last weekend um, And at that point I already had my video made so I didn't realize that the deal was going on But anyway, here's uh, we'll take a look at it. Here's his information Check him out on Facebook, shoot him a text anytime. Uh, the hours are on the card there, but you guys can check him out. Get your good deals, get your buy one, get one, 50% uh, off, you know, your BOGO 50s. Well, I mean, we picked up this amazing Eddie Guerrero Elite. I think this was like five bucks, because uh, it was 50% off, his elites. Uh, all loose elites are $10, unless they like, Unless they have like a special championship or like they're a hard to get elite. Actually, I think this Randy was 10 also because he's trying to move inventory. He's got a lot of inventory there. He's got to move um, just because he's he's got so much wrestling stuff. He's running out of space. If you guys need Funko Pops, you need whatever you need. Let him know. Anyway, let's take a look at what we what we got our hands on. We got another brother love because it's a, a brand new figure, right? This just came out in the last. Uh, series of legends at target it's a great suited figure you just pop the head off you can put anyone you really want on this body i was thinking about doing like a paul Heyman, putting a paul Heyman on here and giving like the white suit paul Heyman. i think that's what i'm going to do with this because we already have a brother love so pop this off pop that off give him the white head or the white suit with the the paul Heyman on there i think that would look pretty cool uh, so we'll probably end up doing that We've got, of course, the Eddie Guerrero. This is my favorite Eddie Guerrero Elite. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This one is my favorite. I have it already, but every time I see it, especially when it's buy one, get one half off, it's like, man, I can scoop this for five bucks. Absolutely. I love this Eddie Guerrero. One of my favorite head molds for him. This is before True Effects, so it's not like perfect, but it's really, really good. Really, really well done, Eddie. Great attire. The gear is just amazing. See if I can zoom in on it there for you. It's not catching the zoom there, kind of. Uh, the gear is amazing. It's his black and gold, iconic. I, I love this gear. This is this is just an amazing figure. And the camera, it's showing like the arms are, they're faded a little bit in person, but they're not like as distorted as it is in the camera. They aren't that bad, but they are, you know, a little bit noticeable. Let's move on to Randy Orton. This is one that I did not get when it came out, but... You know, since it was buy one, get one 50% off, and it was only 10 bucks. Or, I mean, this could have been one of the $5. Maybe this was a $5. Maybe Eddie was 10 and this was 5 Regardless, it's a new Elite for 5 bucks. I don't like the orange trunks. I That's not my favorite Orton look. Sorry, Randy, if, if you know, you're offended by that comment. But this isn't my favorite Randy Orton. Um, but it is good. It's before all his tattoos and everything, which will get into other Randy Orton's here in a bit. You guys probably saw this. Is, this is going to be a huge Randy episode. We've got a lot of Randy Orton's to get into. Um, but I do like this. It's a really good Randy Orton figure. Comes with another championship that we don't really we don't really need another championship. So whoever went, once we get to 500 subscribers, you're probably going to get a championship plus a figure because I don't need this many championships. Or maybe we send this, send someone a champion. Maybe we'll do two raffles. One Someone gets a free championship, someone gets a, a free figure. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but I've got so many of these championships. You know what? Yeah, we, we might do something like that. Just because I think someone commented before saying that, you know, hey, kind of low-key jealous of all the championship belts you got. Uh, and I've got a ton of these, so if anyone need, uh, I think this is the one I have a ton of. I'm going to have to check. We'll go back and look at our championships and decide which one we have a ton of. Maybe we'll just do a giveaway for a championship or... Uh, uh, with the figure or a separate one for the figure. Anyway, good Randy. I like this. Head sculpt is good. I just, I'm not a fan of these trunks. I might try and paint this up and then just get the D, because the decals aren't like great on it. 
Let me see if I can show you guys here. You guys can see the decal is kind of smudged there. Back looks really clean. This side a little bit smudged, but not as bad as the other side. This side was pretty, pretty rough, but we might paint this up, do a different, different look. We got ourselves a ray because again, anything I, anytime I can get these double jointed arms, I also didn't never got this ray. I didn't get the ray in the pink. I didn't like the head. You guys can probably see right here why I didn't like the head. And I'm pretty sure this ray came out right around the time that I heard about the Eddie and Ray Elite coming out, or Ultimates coming out. So, couldn't grab... Have I been saying Ultimates the whole time when I was meant to say Elites? I don't know. Regardless, uh, you guys know what I mean. This Ray Elite just got skipped. Um, I like the gear, and it, when it was, like I said, it was five bucks over at the Treasure Toy Trove. Can't say no to that. Same thing with this Bobby Lashley. I already have it, but five bucks, ten bucks, whatever it is. You know, a ten dollar elite with double jointed arms. I can reuse these arms for somebody, right? We can reuse these arms for somebody down the line, or we could just paint this gear, give ourselves a whole new Bobby Lashley figure for ten bucks, as opposed to buying it the same elite new in the store for twenty four, whatever the price is on these things now. They're they're crazy. Uh, next, we're gonna look at another Randy, with so Randy. Orton is one of those, I have a love-hate with the accessories, because normally I hate the rubber goods, but I like this jacket a lot. Like, the molded hood sets right here at the top of that Viper neck, or Viper uh, head, where it's like, it just, it looks good and clean, and I feel like if this was cloth, it would never set perfectly like that. Also, when they're sleeveless, I don't really care as much about about the cloth goods I, I versus rubber goods. If they're, you know, just a sleeveless jacket, like hoodie like this, I don't care so much about that. The the Ray shirts that he has that go over him, the little goat shirts that this came with, I already threw it in the, in the bin though. I don't mind those at all. Those I don't mind. It's when they have long sleeves and you have to fight the arms in and out. Oh, that drives me nuts. That drives me nuts. Or when they're like something like this where it's long, that those drive me nuts too, but like that, no problem with that. Anyway, another good Randy, another ten dollar elite figure, five dollar elite, depending on how you look at it. Whichever one I got free or got half off, it is what it is. But still, ten bucks for an elite, can't complain with that. Another awesome Randy. Moving right on, we've got yet again another Uso, another J in the white joggers with the white shoes. So this one, now that I have two of them. I'm going to make this one a Jimmy Uso. And you guys see where I'm going now with the whole Paul Heyman on this body with the white and having some red. You guys see what I'm doing here? We're going to do a white Roman and we're going to have a white geared bloodline and the black and red geared bloodline. So we're going to have them, we're going to have them looking good. We're going to have all the boys over here looking good. Uh, just get those bloodline figures redone. Or I might save this J and redo... Because I have two of this now. I might do a main event Jey Uso. Maybe for his like his tag team with Cody and stuff like that. I don't know. I think I want to do Bloodline though. Get him in the white gear. Because that, when I saw this Jay and I saw this... Uh, when I saw these two, I immediately thought, Ooh, white Bloodline gear. And that's where my head went. So that's what I'm leaning towards. That's what I'm going with. We picked up a... I think this is the newest AJ Styles. But again... Guys, it was 10 bucks. How do you say no to that? How do you say no to double? It's it's free. Double, you're getting double jointed arm. Okay, for the customizers, you guys know what I'm talking about. Greeter figs, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Pick this up for 10 bucks. You can't say no to this. You can't say no to this. I don't need another AJ head. We can easily get rid of his tattoos, get rid of the armband here. Get You know, you can clean this up and turn this into whatever you want. But uh, yeah, we picked up another AJ Moving on here, picked up another Bianca. Why not? Ten bucks. Can't say no. And also, I love her jacket and her gear. It's really going to upset me because I, I want to paint over this. And it's going to upset me a lot because I really like this gear. Like, this is really, really, really good. But I do want to paint over this. I have plans for this. I already have one, so I'm not losing the figure. It's just, it's a little disappointing. You know what I'm saying? Moving right along. We've got this AJ Styles, which has been on my wish list for such a long time. I love the blue and red theme 
the whole right there. Look at that. The phenomenal one, American flag, P1. Like this is just such a cool, cool AJ. There, there's the American flagged AJ. I don't know why we aren't focusing on this stuff, but the, any, there it is. You can see it now. It's just such a good, this figure has been on my list for such a long time of like figures that I want to own and have in my collection. Uh, this one's not going to be in the pick fed because this is, this one's got to go on the shelf. This one's definitely going on the shelf. It's a, a one I've been wanting for a long, long time. Maybe my favorite looking of the AJ Styles figures. Um, just as far as like design and gear choice and everything. I do like the new Ultimate though, the one I'm using in the pick fed. I like that one a lot too with the white gear, the white and blue. But this one's just, this one looks so, so good. Between this one, the black and light blue, like the baby blue and black, this one and the one I'm using right now in the pick fed with the white and blue, the ultimate, those are probably my three favorite AJs ever. Even more so than the, uh, the, the uh, dual pack bullet club with Finn. That was such a cool pack. And I, I actually wish I didn't open that. I wish I would have kept that in box. If you guys ever see that anywhere, let me know. <laughs> Just say, hey, I saw it at this place. Here's the phone number. This is the price. I'm going to go get that again because I want to have one of those in box. I'm trying to track that down again. So if you guys see it, just you know, leave a comment. Say, hey, I saw it at this store, blah, blah, blah. Here's the phone number. So anyway, guys, I appreciate that. Moving on from AJ, let's take a look at this Brie Bella. This was actually $5 in the package. It was $5. And I was like, okay, cool. I always use Bella's figures for like customs like this is just a these are just good figures to use for customs especially if like i'm trying something like experimenting with something this it's a, such an easy figure to use for a custom so yeah this was five bucks and it, this might this was definitely one of my like half off so this was only 250 250 for the eagles brie bella that's what i call them the eagles bellas whenever they were in this gear nikki was already gone though so that was a little bit disappointing so couldn't get the nikki uh, next, I want to look at these Mattel's last Alistair Black and Jazzwares second Malachi Black. Because I think the uh, the ultimate or supreme version of this came out first. Um, well, I know it did because I, I got it like a year ago. I just have to say, Jazzwares, as far as a good looking figure, what looks the most like, if you want to collect figures to just collect them and put them on your shelf... Jazz wears all day. If you want them just to just to play with, to beat up, you don't mind if they get scratched up, whatever. Probably jazz wears all day. If you're using them for a pick fed, this is where it gets a little a little dicey. And here I'll show you why. Let me remove their. Well, actually, let me show you their attires first. So here's this Mattel Alistair Black in his gear. This is the last Mattel Alistair Black that they made. And here's Jazzwares first, like baseline Malachi Black. And I say first because there's there's gonna be more. There there's just gotta be more. This is such a good character, such a good wrestler. Now let's uh I'm gonna take their outer ring entrance gears off and show you what the figures are. Alright, guys. If I'm going by the entrance gears alone, Mattel. I think this jacket with the, the shoulder spikes, is way, way cooler than this jacket. But, I mean, we've got the Supreme version of, of this Malachi Black. So, they didn't make this one as good as the Supreme one, obviously. Now, if we're going by ring gears alone, let me show you the ring gears. Here's the Mattel. This is the ring gear for this Alistair Black. And this is the ring gear for Jazzwares Malachi Black. Now, based off of just the ring gear, Mattel wins again. This ring gear is cool. It's got like the one textured boot design on the knee pad and design on the back of the trunks. Whereas this is just all black gear. It's kind of boring, right? Just a little bit basic, a little bit boring. But now when we get into like the nitty gritty of the figures, if you will... The colors of the tattoos and everything pop so much better on Jazzwares figures than they do on Mattel figures. And this has been every figure I've looked at from Jeff Hardy or um, 
yeah, Jeff Hardy's, Matt Hardy's, uh, Alistair Black's is a really, really good example. But, like, it's just not even really... And my lighting down here isn't the greatest, and you guys can see just how good the design is and everything on the Jazzwares figures. They just look so much better. They, they do. They really do. The head molds... That's, that's tough. I, I feel like I have to give it to Mattel for that. As far as durability on a figure, I have to go with Jazzwares because these figures are designed to like pop apart. You can pop them apart at the waist, pop them apart at the chest. Like they pop apart and then just pop back in together. And if those start getting too loose, you just take some pliers, just squeeze up on the ring a little bit. Like there's a little ring under here, little ring under there. You just squeeze up on those, pop the piece back in until it's a tight fit again. Boom, you're good to go with these. Well, if this starts getting loose, if your arm starts getting loose or your waist starts getting loose, you got to get the heat gun, pull it apart at the seam. You guys can see the seams here that run down the figure. I think I did a video showing you guys how to take one of these apart, but you've got to get these seams to... It's You fight with the Mattel figures. You really do fight with them. So, and then it's, like I said when I was saying about like... um. If you're going to get them to play with, throw around, whatever, you want to get some for your kids to play with. Maybe they aren't into wrestling yet. They don't want to YouTube. Uh, you know, they just want to have the figures to play with. AEW figures are like $5 cheaper than Mattel's WWE figures. So Jazzwares is selling a better f figure cheaper for the play factor. But for the YouTube factor, you know, you got you to gotta decide on your own. If you want to YouTube it, you oh, it's up to you. I think I am using a Mattel Alistair Black at the moment in the pick fed uh, because I didn't have this one yet. <laughs> That's really the only reason. I didn't have this one yet, so I didn't use the the Malachi Black. I didn't use the Supreme one because that one's that one's staying safe on the shelf. I really like that, and I want to get like a couple more of that one, but. I haven't used, I didn't have this one yet to use, but now we're going to be switching out our Alistair Black for Malachi Black. Although we might, we might switch, we might give him this coat, switch out the ring gear, give him that ring entrance attire. I mean, um, yeah, I just, I think this is really cool. I like this a lot and I like the, the whole black eye thing he carried over. It, that was a character decision though, but like, anyway, Alistair Black, really, really cool character. I like the name Alistair Black better than Malachi Black. That's just me. It's a small thing. But anyway, I, I do think the best value is in this figure. This has, The Mattel figure has some selling points, but for the price, you can't go wrong with AEWs. Anyway, guys, that's me getting on my high horse comparing two of the same figure. Uh, we picked up this, of course, uh, beefcake. You have to have... I, I didn't realize I did not have a Brutus in my lineup yet. I have a basic. I did not have an elite at all. Like, at, I did not have a single elite. So we picked him up. He was 10 bucks. No, this one was five because his uh, knees are a little bit loose. They're not terrible, but this was regular price five. So this one was probably like 250. His waist is a little bit loose, but it's, again, it's not terrible. This is a good, like, that's a good figure. He hardly moved at the waist. If I kick his legs around, his knees aren't like, I'm shaking this, guys. I'm shaking it. And his legs don't really move that much. So it's, I didn't think there was anything wrong with this, why it should be five. But Jason was like, hey, it's a $5 figure. That's what I put on it. I'm like, okay, I'll take it for five. Next, we've got this R-Truth. What's up? You guys already know. You guys know I love R-Truth. Like, this is one of my, oh, is he top 10? Is r is Hard truth might be in my top 10. I didn't think about it before. Our truth might be in my top 10. He's definitely in my top 20. He's got to be in my top 20. For sure. He might he's Our truth might be in my top 10 and I didn't even realize it. I that I'm going to do that. One of these days I'm going to sit down and make a, a list of my top 10 wrestlers. Top 20, top whatever. You know, I'll go brand by brand, whatever it is. But I'm definitely going to sit down and do my top blank wrestlers from blank brand, blank time, and whatever. Um, so, And I'm going to do it in the sense that, like, if I say Samoa Joe, Finn Balor, or whatever, in NXT, I'm not going to use them again. I'm not going to use Samoa Joe again in Raw, SmackDown, 
AEW, because I've used him once already, and honestly, NXT is probably where I liked him the most. I think he had the best story. That, although he did have a really good AJ story in, in on Raw. Or was that SmackDown, where he and AJ were feuding? I liked that one, too. But I think NXT with him and Finn, that was, like, the best. Uh, but anyway, R-Truth, uh, just a good classic R-Truth from Series... Is this a Series 4, Series 5? It's a really early Mattel figure, but it was in great, great, great condition, and it was $10. I'm not going to say no to that. It has the original shirt and everything. The figure was excellently taken care of. I think this must, must have been in someone's collection. Really well taken care of. Um, oh, let me, oh, I forgot about these. Let me just get these real quick. Guys, I did switch that head for the Randy Orton. Um, we did the head swap. So now this is our pick-fed Randy Orton, I think. This is the one we were using. Uh, I swapped the head out with one where he had a little hair, and he had his, like, beard growing, at least a full Randy Orton beard. So we swapped that out. I think it looks really good. I like it a lot. Uh, like I said, Randy heavy episode, and we're not even done yet. And then we put the... Renee Paquette head on this old uh, Becky Lynch body, I think. Uh, that way we have her in a wrestling attire, and now we have a wrestling Renee. So now she can be drafted somewhere. Next quick, we'll get to this Dan Housen. Uh, if you guys don't have a Dan Housen because you didn't get the Amazon pre-order or the Ringside Exclusive pre-order, this is a really good Dan Housen. It's not like... I think the Ringside and Amazon, where he's in his, like... Like, the shirtless, like, ready-to-go gear is good. But this is a great promo, Dan Housen. I've got some fun stuff planned for this whenever I start actually getting into, like, the pick fed again and really start doing some more, like... I want to get into stop motion. This is a piece for my stop motion motivation. <laughs> but then I watch your guys' videos, and I'm like, God, I'm never going to be able to do that. Not that good. You guys do really, really, really good stop motion on here. Um, it makes me jealous because I've, I've tried in the last like two months, I've tried to do stop motion. I'm not good at it. <laughs> That's just, I'm just, I'm just not, I don't know what's, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm not good at stop motion. I'm, I'm not, but I do love watch guys. When you do new videos, please keep me posted. Cause I love watching your videos. And sometimes YouTube doesn't update me. I am subscribed to your channels. I told, I've told you guys from the beginning, this, this channel, it's not about me. It's about helping promote the community. And if you guys subscribe to me and you guys do stuff and you want me to check it out, let me know. I will subscribe back and watch your stuff. Absolutely. I want to grow the action figure community, especially the wrestling figure community. So if you guys have stuff that you do and you want me to check it out, please let me know. Leave a comment. I love watching your stuff. Uh, thank you guys so much for those of you who already have been letting me know and stuff. I do appreciate it. I love watching your stuff. It, it really does make my day. And it's it's, it's little things like that that just like, hey, maybe my channel helped someone get started. And now I want to do stuff like that. That stuff makes my day so much. Like, it's just like, like, hey, you know, you, I saw you doing it and now I want to do it. I was like, please, please do. Please do. And do it better than I do it. Because I don't, you know... I don't think I'm great. I know some of you on here say that I'm one of the best YouTubers. Come on, guys. That's not true. I'm not one of the best YouTubers. I'm not. I know I'm not. Uh, I want to get better. I do. And I'm going to keep trying to get better for you guys because this is all for you. Everything I'm doing here is for you guys. Let's grow this community. This Dan Housen is going to ho hopefully put me in the right direction to start doing some stop motion. And hopefully I can e grow you know, the community even more if I start doing stop motion, and you guys can laugh at how bad it is. <laughs> anyway, we're moving on to the goon, another figure that I've been wanting to get. Treasure Toy Trove, they had it, 10 bucks, couldn't say no to it. This is one I've been looking for for a while, so very, very happy to actually get my hands on the goon. I had him in my ringside cart a few times and just couldn't pull the trigger because it was like that was the only thing I had in my cart. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to buy just the goon. I got to buy, you know, something else with him. But couldn't couldn't find anything else, so we didn't. So we just, we got the goon finally. Next, we're going to look at Solo Sokoa. My only issue is that he's too skinny. That's my only issue with Solo. I like the figure a lot. He's just too thin to be solo this isn't the right solo but i'm happy with it other than that uh you know i might try and switch some things out see if i can find um 
Uh, the only problem is I'm, I'm not going to be able to get the tattoos there again because I was thinking about swapping them with like a, a Kevin Owens just to get them a, a little pudgier but not like big, big. I don't want him to like, I don't want to put Rikishi body on, on Solo because it's not, he's not that big. He's just, you know, he's stocky. He's a stocky fighter like Kevin Owens or a Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe might be a little too big actually. So I would almost need like a Kevin Owens, but I'm not gonna. I'm not too worried about it. It's a good solo. He's just a little thin, but it's other than that, it's a really good figure. Now, before I get into the final Randy Orton, guys, we got a Honky Tonk Man from the Greatest Hits. I heard that this one was a harder figure to find, so this is going into the pile. This will probably be the last one I get for the pile, unless I can get my hands on a Bruno San Martino, because I think that's the hardest one to get in this wave. Um, I, I heard that these two were the hard to get. The Honky Tonk Man and Bruno San Martino were the hard to get ones, which kind of makes sense. I've only seen one Honky Tonk Man. I've seen like three or four of everyone else here. I have not seen a Bruno San Martino yet. So this will probably be the last figure I add to the figures that you can win uh, if anyone wants to try and win a Honky Tonk Man. Whatever figures aren't one, I'm going to open, add them all to the collection because then by the time we get to 1,000, there's going to be so many new figures out that these are all going to be old <laughs> and everyone's probably going to have the in fact there's probably some in the collection now that are like i don't even want that because it's so old <laughs> i don't know anyway we'll, we'll keep this one around uh so once we get to 500 you have a chance to win now a honky tonk man added to the collection and finally i want to get to probably what i think is the most disappointing thing in this whole entire video this is the Ultimate Edition Randy Orton. Now, I've been Randy Orton crazy this entire video, just going like, oh, man, these figures are so good, whatever. This one really isn't. And let, let me tell you why. First, we have a Raw Tag Team Championship, which is okay. I mean, I guess you they wanted to give us something because they really didn't have anything to give us with this Randy Orton. Um, so they gave us a Raw Tag Team Championship. Kind of a waste, in my opinion. I feel like we get the mm, the tag team straps. You get them with, like, so many other, like, not basic, but so many other elite figures that you don't really need to put a Raw strap, a tag team strap in an ultimate figure package. But that's the version of Randy Orton they want. They wanted the RK Bro, so we got the cloth good. RK Bro jacket with the logo on the back. Looks pretty good. I like it. The only thing I don't like is there's nowhere to like Velcro this jacket together or keep it closed at all. Not even like a mini zipper or anything for it. So it's not great. But, you know, cloth good jacket. Okay, we'll take it. I, I don't mind that. I, don't, I can get over that. What does upset me, of course, we've got tag team strap we've got this very basic randy orton yeah it's got the gear and it's got the rko you guys can see on there it's got the little logo on the side um but what what really gets me on this ultimate <coughs> sorry about that is you get the three head sculpts two of them look very similar like, there's not a ton of difference between these two heads. And then this one is just a mouth open version. So you really, between these two, you didn't need to add two of almost the exact same head sculpt. So you really get two different heads. And then you just get extra hands. You get his iconic pose hands, his weapon holding, mic holding hands, and fists. And this is, this is all you get, guys. That is all you get with this Ultimate Edition Randy Orton. I don't think this was the right Randy Orton to go with, considering his historic career. I don't think the RK Bro Randy Orton is the Randy Orton you should have gone with. I personally don't. I think any of his, his uh, championship gear, Randy Orton's... Um, Give me like an RKO t-shirt. Uh, give me an Evolution Randy Orton. Give me something better than this. So I, I will tell you guys this. And this is just a warning for those of you who don't have this figure yet. 
wait because I promise you this is going to be a shelf warming figure. Well, I, I can't promise you that. I hope this will be a shelf warming figure and drop down to like 20 bucks or less. Like the Alexa Bliss right now is like dirt cheap because no one really wanted it. I hope this Randy Orton goes down to that because this is not worth it. This just isn't worth it to me. Uh, $33, I think, is what these cost retail. Not worth the money because it's not that great of a fit. You don't get enough to validate the price. Seth Rollins, you got, you know, a fun gear, a big fun coat. Andre the Giant, you got a shirt that was made for, like, bigger figures, a title that was made for bigger, bigger figures. You got stuff that made the characters worth the money. And now this one just feels a little bit cheap to me. That's like the new um, the new Stone Cold they have out. Just feels kind of cheap. It's not as good as the first Stone Cold they released. So it's like I'm not going to get that Stone Cold because it doesn't. it's just not that good to me. So I, I wanted this Randy Orton because I like Randy Orton, but I'm having buyer's remorse on it. I will say that. Anyway, guys, sorry, this has been a long one. So uh, sorry about that. We'll all let you go here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please tell your friends, your family, whoever you want. As soon as we get to 500 subscribers, you know what we're doing. We're sending out a figure. We are going to be randomly drawing a name out of, uh, I guess we'll do like a rotation wheel. Because I, I don't think I can write down that many names for everybody who's liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel. So we'll do like a rotation wheel and we'll give everyone extra, uh, extra pulls. If you like the video, comment on the video. And subscribe, you get three chances entered into the into the rotation wheel. And if you just do one of those, you get one entry. If you do two of those, you get two. Do all three, you get three. So that's you know nice, fair, and simple. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.